All right, a video here for Ed Lavorn. Hopefully I've got your name correct. Um, we'll start this going and then I'll do me chatting. So, connect this cell up. Uh, it's about 12 volts now. So, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna go for 15, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 and connect up really nice revs so far you can hear that from there and it'll slow down to a certain rate I should think right so Ed was talking oh sorry we started about what about 40 or something ah um, Ed was uh, talking about research um, of using potato starch and iodized salt uh, what I've actually done is added it uh, to the paper separator. I smeared the potato, the cut potato in half, over the uh, paper and then added the iodized salt over the top. Made the cell to the usual baby step method. And uh, then I found out though that um, adding some pressure it really does help. It you know, gives a nice good run. Five minutes is the best so far. And uh, this particular cell might well beat that. Um, research seems to suggest that uh, what would happen is um, you know extended capacitance charge uh, I think this is working like a fuel cell because all that bubbling gets rid of the vinegar and uh, you just top some more vinegar in the top or the fruit juices in fact uh, especially cranberry juice and off the things will go again uh, with seemingly no damage to the plates or to the carbon and such so um, anyway we're running along quite nicely now and the point really is to, to put a decent run on here as well that's uh, hopefully working to help people see the differences with graphene. I mean, we're not getting four hours and such, but that's the point. What are we getting? And I know Tinsel Koala was apparently talking about such things too, and I'll have to check his posts out and uh, see what he's saying. But, um, yeah, this is running along quite nicely. In about 20 seconds, we'll have two minutes up. It's just good to get a decent run. Uh, I've got a two and a half minute run on OB Unity Research Forum in my uh, bench there. And, uh, but like I say, five minutes is the record. So we're about there, two minutes. Still decent enough revs, if you can hear that. And it's stabilised out some, which is good. Made a mistake before. Um, I found out if you, uh, you pick up a cell and you. Um, squeeze it you can vary the speed of the rotation of the motor because we're all using motors as a kind of current uh, current load um, and uh, yeah so I tried that earlier on this cell and managed to short the thing and I cut about a four minute run to practically nothing you know no, no extra <laughs> because I shorted it and then the thing booted up again I spun the propeller and, uh, and it started up again so I'm going up to three minutes shortly this battery pack as well I really should use a, a known source because it's a very old set from uh, a laptop and um, I just use it in case I was to short anything inadvertently the rest I wouldn't damage anything these cells have been through uh, you know to hell and back and they're still going so I just charge them on solar and use them and sometimes you've got six volts sometimes about 13.2 or somewhere anyway we just we've gone past the three minutes I presume a lot of people will have fast forwarded to uh, toward the end, but um, we're not doing badly. 15 second charge, like I say this time, that's longer than usual, but uh, the cell seems to be able to do alright on 15 seconds, normally 5 seconds. And we're still going alright with revs there. I know it's like watching paint dry, isn't it? Wonder who's still listening. Oh, I shall mention the Kardashians again for the computer tech guy. <laughs> he noticed last time. All right, so there's four minutes. Are we gonna be on for the record? I don't know. Is the battery gonna last in the camcorder? Is there enough memory space? All this and more should be learnt. Yeah, whatever. So, uh, it's running quite nicely. 
I say, I'm very glad to get a run like this because the first time I got a five minute run, I didn't record. Uh, it was just unexpected. But this is without varying the pressure on the cell as well, which is quite important to see what that, you know, that average pressure from one of those uh, simple and popular clips, you know, it's not uh, something odd to make or whatever, needing jigs and such, it's a, a simple binder type clip. So, will it make the five minutes? It is slowing down now. I think we can say it has, that's great. So, certainly, there is no uh, no problems developed with using the starch and the iodized salt. And, uh, and it's worth trying for those that are making these as well. But as I say, hopefully this works as some kind of baseline thing um, for cells without graphene. So that's about five and a half minutes now. Very nice run indeed. That is the new record for the baby step type. Certainly mine, other folks may have beaten this, I don't know. Go on, keep going for six minutes. Ah, so, although it's near enough stop now, there we go. But uh, there we go. Clear six minutes on a 15 second charge. So, uh, yes, thank you very much, Ed. That's a, that's a really good idea and certainly does no damage to the cell and may well improve uh, the running characteristics. So that's a bit of potato <laughs> and a bit of iodized salt. More uh, kitchen ingredients. Okay, thanks for watching.